We're here at the Buna Beach to do a massive cleanup. This is the longest coastline in West Africa and my team and I together have come to put up an activity that we are hoping is going to bring a change to this community. In conjunction with the youth of Ibuno, we are at the beach doing a sanitation exercise. We are cleaning up the coastline. We're starting from the jetty and then we'll go to the front part of the beach to also clean up the beach. Now, one of the challenges we have in this part of the country is when people are around and want to visit a beach for tourism. They get things like, you know, Ibuna is not such a clean beach. If the jetty is not so clean, I don't think I would want to buy fish there or go for a boat cruise. And we think it's high time we make a change. We think it's high time we change that narrative. Where we are right now is called the jetty and there are heaps of trash. I mean like dirt everywhere. And this first of all is harmful for living because we do know that when places are dirty, there's a whole lot of mosquitoes, we have cholera, we have diseases. So our aim is to sensitize people on the need to have a hygienic and clean environment. Go around, you see volunteers everywhere, people from all over the country, people from all walks of life, putting all their works aside and getting down and dirty, sensitizing the people and also joining them in the cleanup of the beach. We talked to a couple of persons here, the indigenes, and they've said, well, the government is supposed to take care of this, the government is supposed to send people. But the oil companies here are not doing enough to ensure that the environment is clean. But while we were cleaning, we told them, it's not just the oil companies. You have a role to play. Your role is making sure you don't throw trash. Do not litter, because you're the ones living here. They're not living here. So it's you who are in risk of um, diseases, and you know what it is when you have diseases. You have to spend extra money to fend for your families. We're able to reach out to the leadership and when we got to the leadership, they told us some of the peculiar issues, including the water they consume. And then we went back, researched, found out that we could prefer certain solutions, especially in the water aspect. And then we came up with the biosand filter in conjunction with the Center for Affordable Water and Sanitation Technology all the way from Canada. They gave us materials and we were able to build up the biosound filter that we're presenting to the community. And then we said, okay, should we just end that way? No, let's go further. What more can we do? We spoke to the women and the children. We found out they had peculiar issues regarding hygiene. We said, what can we do? Let's give back as much as we can. So we did get sanitary materials such as disinfectants, uh, to while we are talking, we don't just sensitize, we try to also give back. So we distribute a few of these materials to show them that we care about what their uh, situation is. We will still go on talking to people about keeping the environment clean. We hope that this can become a part of them. This can be ingrained in them. Cleanliness, having a hygienic environment can be ingrained in them for their own benefit. So we reduce, we reduce the number of persons who we have dying to malaria, to cholera, and to the many diseases that come forth from having a dirty environment. And I would love to say I'm really grateful to everyone who has come out. We thank you so much. It's an opportunity for me to give back to society. It's an opportunity to initiate a change that I want to see. And so if you want to be a part of it, it's high time you find an organization. It doesn't have to be super initiative. Find out any organization, find out any group that are willing to go out there to initiate a change, to bring change, not just to our community, but to ourselves. I'm hoping that with this, we will be able to open up conversations with the government, with organizations, with corporate individuals, and then we can get them to begin to look at all the challenges that are facing this community and communities with similar situations.